get it, Steve. Do you think your party establishment used the people on the on the grassroots right, and now they found the grassroots right decide they want to run the party? Well, it's the old John Kennedy quote: "When you try to ride the tiger, the problem is sometimes you wind up inside the tiger." Right. But this has been building for a long time. We look at the tone in this campaign. I like the way you know and a lot of, and a lot of It's great for a lot of and a lot of and a lot of commentators say they scratch their chins and say, "My God, the tone of this election." Have they not listened to talk radio for five minutes in this country that reaches 50 million people a day for a, a moment in the last 10 years? And the tone is disgusting around our political discourse. And Trump has been a reflection of that tone in this steel cage match Republican primary. You look at the intellectual collapse of the conservative movement, the fading of giants like William F. Buckley, you know, the replacements, you know, of uh, you know, purveyors of blogs and polemics yeah. that, and, and it's all collapsed. Well, who it's won when? Who won when Trump won? Time. Did Mark Levin win? Did, 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 got, did Sa Michael Savage? He's still yeah, there. But, but who my, wins? Who are these people? Know, but my, look, M uh, Mark Levin is decrying this tonight. I mean, he's a Series A round investor in the demise of the conservative movement in the Republican Party. And he very famously, a woman calls up a show, has the you know, gall to disagree with Mark Levin, who calls himself the great one, talk about narcissists, talk yeah. about self-aggrandizers. Mark Levin asked, do you have a gun in the house? Go find it and blow your brains out. This is the tone that has emanated from yeah. talk radio. And this cancer has spread, and that tone has infected the whole of the party. And so the, the, this, this moment that we've arrived at, where there's been a severability now between issues and conservatism. And the test of who's the conservative in the race is who has the loudest voice of opposition. Yeah. We went from being the small government party but a movement of ideas to being an anti-government party. And when institutions collapse and we no longer propose anything, and we no longer stand for anything, we no longer advocate for anything, and we don't turn out intellectually the ideas that can move the country the country forward, you arrive at this moment. But, but can I